Now this is a question asked in the CBS examination both in the consecutive years 2004 and 5. You can see the importance of such type of a question. It says the mean variance of binomial distribution are 4 and 4 by 3 respectively. Find P of or probability of x greater than equal to 1. So how to solve this type of a question? First of all, you must know the formulas which we studied in the previous video about the mean and the variance. So I write solution and let's start solving this question. So the mean has been given. Now what is the mean and what is the variance? 4 and 4 by 3. So the mean is NP which is 4. The variance is NPQ which is 4 by 3. Now if you name these as equation number 1 and 2, you can clearly divide equation number 1 and 2 and get certain resultant value. So NP over NPQ will give me 1 upon Q, 4 over 4 by 3. So 1 by Q is equal to 3 or Q is equal to 1 by 3. This is the probability of the failure. With this knowledge, we can find P which is 1 minus Q which is 2 by 3. So probability of success comes in picture, probability of failure comes into picture. Now simply put in these equations, any of these equations. So suppose I put, now the further part of the solution, put values in equation number 1, n multiplied by p is equal to 4, right? So 2 ones are, 2 twos are, that means number of trials are 6. So number of trials are known, probability of success is known and failure is known. We have to find out probability when x is greater than equal to 1. Now for greater than equal to 1, we have to move from x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, which is very lengthy. So I know that probability x greater than equal to 1 can be written as 1 minus probability x less than 1, right? Now probability x less than 1 means 1 minus probability x is equal to 0. Now what is the probability when x is equal to 0? We know 1 minus ncr p raised to the power r q raised to the power n minus r is the formula. So ncr p raised to the power r this is p, q raised to the power n minus r, right, here I can write here 6. Now what to do, 6 c 0, n c 0 is 1, we started how is it, because you know n c 0 is equal to n factorial upon 0 factorial multiply n factorial. Now this is 1 minus 1 by 729 which gives you 728 by 729 as the answer to this question. So this is how you have to understand the wording of the question first and then move about the solution to reach the final answer.